Take us on. Yo, yo, what's good? <laughs> what's good, yo? I'm Tom. This is Ohms. You know what I'm saying? Welcome to a Brig Zone. Zone. Woo! So Thirteen. We already know. 13. Grinding. Every Monday at 8 p.m. Catch yes, us. Sir. Come on, son. Best day of the week. Best day of the week. Get the week started week. right. Yes, sir. I listen to some uh, fucking brick zone. Son. Easy. Stimulate your ear nerves. <laughs> at the start of the week, you know. Yeah. I feel like that should be the goal, you know. Make make Monday the best day. Because everyone's like, ah, Monday, fuck. But, like, you should be like, let's go Monday, bro. Yeah. My view on Mondays changed bricks ago. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey. Once, once I got involved in the stock market, brick Mondays are fun. Oh, yeah, because that's when it opens up. Yeah, exactly. Everything. Yeah, exactly. Mm. But, I mean, other than that, yeah, Mondays, yeah, there was a negative connotation. Yeah. But, yo, they set the tone for the week. Why is that, though? What? Why is it that? Why is that? Why is it Monday has always the, the negative, like, fuck Monday? Because the beginning of the work week, bro. Mm-hmm. And it's like, damn, I'm yeah, just not starting, and I have this whole week ahead of me of mm-hmm. work. Instead of Friday, where it's like, damn. It's the end. Yeah. Damn, bro. That's, that's, kinda... why, we, that's why we faded. You know, nobody's going to listen to us on a Friday. Everybody's out having fun, yeah, partying, and drinking and shit. True, yeah. Go on a Monday when you're home, on the way back in traffic mm-hmm. from work, yeah, from, work. from your 9 to 5, listening nine to, to five. us. You know, you listen Every to us. Monday. Maybe, Maybe we inspire you to... Say fuck you to your nine to five or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, because that's I, that is where it does come from. Is those people who has the nine to fives and shit. They're like, damn, bro. I, you know, I hate their jobs. Yeah. And it's like because I mean, shouldn't I mean? I think it should be that you like your job and yeah. then you want to go to it. Obviously, there may be things you don't fuck with about it, but like, it should be like you look forward to it because that's a part of your life. Yeah. As that's what two thirds of your day. Or one third? Nah, that's a lot of that's your day. Two thirds of your day. Yeah, right? like I work until four, and like yeah. it's already what? Fucking like, eight. Yeah, eight. I'm already like tired. Yeah, like I'm gonna go day, home, eat, and exhaust. Yeah, yeah, you're and gonna go to sleep. Yeah, same day tomorrow. I'm like, yeah, exactly. Same thing. Damn. So that's why. That's why some people don't fucks with it. But at least tomorrow's Friday, so you know. Be oh shit! I'll be chilling. That's to get you guys mixed up, the listeners, because it's gonna be on Monday. Listening yeah. to yeah, it's Thursday right now. Yeah, it's Thursday. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, but uh, but that's actually like interesting that you bring up like mm-hmm. doing the jobs and stuff and what you like because I don't know, bro. Like right now, what am I seeing in my life? Mm-hmm. Well, right now I'm at the age and all this shit where everybody's graduating college my mm-hmm. age. You know, it's like mm-hmm. the past, it's been four years since I've been out of high school and mm-hmm. everybody's like that final semester finishing up. Finishing school. Seeing Instagram, all these yeah. graduation photos, mm-hmm. congrats saying congrats to everybody and all this stuff, you mm-hmm. know, like how do you feel really about cool. that? I mean, I'm still in college and I'm still gonna be in university for a while because I fucked up a little. Mm-hmm. Didn't know what I wanted to do and shit. But I mean, whatever, everybody has their own pace. So mm-hmm. I'm not really upset or anything. Mm-hmm. I'd rather like I'm happy I know what I'm like I made the progress I did and like I have a little bit more of an idea what I want to do with my life as opposed to like continuing pursuing something that and, like i have no idea like i wouldn't want i would be thrust into that and not have the knowledge of like life I, like because i learned like life knocked my ass down mm. during this time so i think like i learned i learned the street smarts a little more than i did the book smarts you know mm. and now it's like all right now i learned more about life and what life is and now i'm gonna finish the books now i'm ready for the books mm-hmm. but so, now yeah. like you see where you're going now though you see mm-hmm. the the destination and the vision now, yeah. right? Whereas like back then though, like it was like kind of like clouded everything, right? Like mm-hmm. you know. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like I I still don't fully know what I want to do. Like mm-hmm. shit, if I could do this forever, I would. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. what I would initially love yeah, to do. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like, do I like anything? Like anything can change in the blink of an eye. Like anything changes fast or whatever like that. So but, I don't know fully what I want to do, like what my number one goal is in life mm-hmm. and all that. Like, but I, I mean, I think my number one goal is to become a father. But I'm talking about like doing shit for myself. I don't yeah. know what you know. I, don't I know what you mean. Yeah. See, the thing with that though is that like, um, like you know, like you know, those people they graduated and whatnot. They did all their years. But it's like, first of all, like you know how social media is like, it's like portrayed mm-hmm. like this is their success, right? You know, they they made it whatever graduated but then like all right what comes after that 
You know now nah, they made it though. To be yeah, fair, no, like, like, that's, that's a big that's, feat, no, that's bro. A good, that's like, a great, that's a great accomplishment. Like, damn, like, it's not to take anything from them. Like that's yeah. dope. Like if that's really what they want to do, though, then more power to them. Mm -hmm. But if it's like, but some of them is not. No, yeah, some exactly. Them, some, that's why it's like, I want to. Uh, it's good that you bring that up because mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. Like I got to learn a little bit of what I wanted to do and all mm -hmm. that shit. Like I got to learn stuff like as if I wasn't in school. Mm -hmm. Cause now, now these people have been in like the same environment for a long time, been doing the same things for a long time, been this routine. Like it's easy. It's not easy, but it's it's easier to stay in line when you have a goal and a, and a, like you know like a goal and then to get to it. Mm. And like school, for example, like school is already designed. There's a pathway to get there. So like everything else around you don't matter because you still can be in school and get to that. So like. What I'm trying to say is, is like the outside factors and you're like, you're not really considering outside factors. You don't have to worry about other things right now because mm -hmm. you're worried about school. That's your main focus. And it's like written. Like, it's like, all right. You, yeah, you, exactly. You do this it's, paper. Yeah, you, you do exactly. It right, and then you get exactly. This. It's written. It's planned out. Yeah. Like you go, you go with your counselors. They plan out the, your entire next exactly. semesters and what classes mm -hmm. you're going to take through then and all that. I mean, it might not be fully mapped out, but for the most part it is. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm saying like, yeah, there's a course and they're like, all right, this is my course. Let me just all I gotta do, do what I do is that like show up to class and all that. But mm -hmm. they're not learning other things about life and all i mean i'm not saying that they won't yeah or like they're not at all because i mean duh they are mm -hmm. but i feel the, like the main focus though is yeah. like all right i gotta do this paper because yeah. i'll get this grade and then yeah. if i get this grade then i'll pass this class mm -hmm. and get this degree yeah so now i feel like their mind after that at college now they're like what the fuck like the what real, is there yeah you know like yeah. damn now they're real now they're gonna learn because a lot more that, about the real, world. Not yeah, written real there. world yeah shit is not written there exactly yeah like there's nothing to fall back on like a plan mm -hmm. now you have to make every plan your step every step you take like is all up to you every plan and dream you have is up to you to be like to start that way because mm -hmm. there's no like there's no set destination or anything or any system that you're going to be in now that's mm -hmm. going to get you there yeah so i don't know i feel like in that way i kind of have an advantage like i learned a little mm -hmm. bit i learned i got a little head start in learning a little bit about that shit but i mean that's i'm not saying i'm smarter than anybody but yeah but and, and but not, it's for you though like yeah. it's like you the position you're in like as long as you feel like you're in the right position then like bro nothing else matters bro yeah exactly like, it doesn't matter bro like even if like because that's always a thing it's like you know because you see these other people and it almost makes you feel like you may not think it's consciously but subconsciously you're like shit like these people yeah. are like ahead you know yeah, what i'm saying because yeah. they have their their degree or whatever yeah, yeah but it's like ahead of what exactly mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. bro like people a like, lot yeah they have this degree yeah they have like now they have like more doors open mm -hmm. to shit but like now what are, but like what knowledge do they have yeah. to step into those doors like what are they gonna do like there's just it's like blindfolds now it's like mm -hmm. they don't know what is gonna happen like it, and there's no like, i don't know how to say like and the thing is um since they had that whole environment like of everything being written out to them then going from that and then going to life where the shit is not written, then it's like almost like it's kind of scary because like you're not used to that. You're used to mostly yeah. like, all right, here, here's this paper. You do this, you get this grade. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But like now with the real world, it's like you're like competing with other people who want the same shit as you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. And it's, school, there's like morals and all that. So like now you're going to deal with people that that won't matter. Like yeah. they'll do what they have to to get there. Like. There's nobody in school. There's like a, like people, there's going to be like professors can be nice. Like there's compassion yeah. and all that shit, but like the world's not really compassionate. That, for you. And also like, like for example, someone who maybe isn't good with talking to people could, could just, who you know, they just are, but they're book smart. They, they know how to study and, um, and write whatever. Mm -hmm. And they get a good grade for that. Right. But they don't really know how to communicate. But then maybe there's another dude who, who isn't that good with studying and whatnot, but knows yeah. how to talk to people, Yeah, you know, then that dude in the real world would be better. You know what I mean? Because he in some would, aspects yeah, and some I'm generalizing, but like, yeah. you know what I mean though? Right. Like it's like, cause that's where ultimately shit matters. The way to make it really in the yeah. real world, I feel like is knowing how to communicate and, and influence people. people Yeah, because people are what make up everything. Mm -hmm. People make up businesses. People make up fucking the job you want the fucking yeah. whatever bro people make up everything yeah, you can be stupid as shim like yeah. get to that point like, bro donald you, trump is a stupid guy like, yeah like sure he's, you can like, he's it, pretty idiotic yeah <laughs> like what if you know how to get to people influence them we're not in a way where like um you know it's like 
you're doing it just to get something out of them but like it's like both parties can win you know what i mean mm -hmm. then like then you got it bro like that's really all it takes because you know you look at there's there's great people who who are rich wealthy and they don't know shit about whatever it is that they're uh successful in like for example this guy um andrew carnegie i believe was his name he was like a steel like yeah corporate yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what i mean yeah, yeah, but he yeah. didn't know shit about steel bro the only thing he knew was that like he knew how to how to like organize people get people to do to knew about it and like you know what i'm saying like mm -hmm. organize so like that's what it is bro so yeah. it's like you know mr beast oh yeah on yeah, youtube yeah, yeah like that i hear some shit about him too like i never watched him but he, like he has like he has like he's like one of the best youtubers and it's like he has great ideas and yeah. all that stuff and it's like because he himself knew his limitations mm -hmm. and he knew that like he's not the funniest dude mm -hmm. he's he doesn't have like the like i don't know like the best personality or that he's not mm -hmm. good at editing he's mm -hmm. not the best at filming mm -hmm. so what do you do he gathered people that he knows are good at that he's like he makes up for that because he knows what he's good at is creating content mm. so he's so he just gathered the best resources he can to in order to do that yeah so like yeah so that's why i don't know i wanted to ask like do you think cause is necessary yeah honestly i don't believe so honestly like necessary for what exactly you know what i mean i mean if you want to be a doctor to live happy and to live, live happy yeah and success nah. and be successful no nah. but if you want to be a lawyer if you want to be a doctor then yeah it is necessary mm. you know what i'm saying but if that's what you want to do you know what i mean but like if it's not then then it's not necessary you know what i mean but like it's like but if you really want to be a lawyer then go ahead you got to go to fucking college you know what i'm saying yeah. like that's what it is like that's how it is and but the people who want to do it will do it because that's what they you know that's what their desire is and yeah. some people desire that you know what i mean me personally i'm not really for real i'm not really a, you know like i would if i was like to become like a surgeon like i'll probably like throw up like in, yeah in, in, like the dude's like mouth you're not good shit. with gore and shit yeah, fuck yeah no. you're, squir you're squirmy <laughs> yeah, yeah i'm squirmy bro yeah, i am too sometimes it was something. yeah but like that's just me though but like other people like they don't give a fuck so it's like yeah exactly yeah and and hopefully they have like good morals too like Cause there's some fucked up doctors and shit you know what i'm saying yeah but like, like michael jackson's and shit yeah <laughs> <laughs> fuck that guy <laughs> killed fucking the king of pop <laughs> yeah bro fuck that man bro. and then yeah but um but yeah nah bro honestly i don't know i do not think it's necessary but like the thing though is that it's fucked up because like a lot of people are um are falsely educated in being that it is necessary yeah but mostly i feel like it's also pressure yeah. pressure from parents from friends anyone outside of themselves mm -hmm. because if they really listen to themselves they're just like i really don't want to go to college yeah you know how many people are like that bro but all right but, all right but let me count let me let me be mm -hmm. devil's advocate yeah. real quick because i feel like now the narrative of not going to college has also been on the rise like i definitely think that more people are coming to light to saying that college isn't necessary and all that like within their own eyes and society like the narrative is being pushed a lot more that you don't need college. Like a lot of people are seeing this now. Like, yeah, I, I feel like our parents and our, all that, they in their generation, they definitely push college a lot onto us. But our generation and all that, we're starting to realize, yeah, like we don't need it as much. So I think this narrative is coming that we like it, we're pushing it too much. I know what you mean. That we don't need college. And then that just goes to say, like, everything has context behind it mm -hmm. and like circumstances like you don't need to go to like you shouldn't go to college if you have a dream that you don't see college being necessary to get to that dream mm -hmm. and goal and you truly feel is right you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. because let's say like yeah like you're saying like yeah if you want to be a lawyer or a doctor you have to go to college like yeah. sorry yeah but i don't know i feel like many people that don't have these dreams are like settling at are like yeah, i don't need to go to college i'll do it anyway but they don't have a plan mm -hmm. okay so if you don't go to college you have to have a plan yeah like what is it because if you don't have a plan like yeah like bill like what's it called bill gates and all these people who didn't go to college and all that bullshit but i mean yeah. they he fucking made what like he yeah. made like these people make things you know what i'm saying like they have dreams they are very intelligent at the end of the day like mm -hmm. it's now that they're just saying oh i don't need college i don't need to do it and then just drop out yeah and then have enough backup plan yeah, or like sure. they are intelligent already yeah. like they're making something else for sure so yeah i see what you mean mm -hmm. and also what i wanted to say too with that from what you're saying is that like bro what the heck all right but go ahead that mass fly bro I'm not you, okay let's go wait what did you right. say so what were you about to say um 
that all right what is what is the actual like the system you know what i mean the 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 reason for college like in my opinion i really think it's just it's to create workers you know what i mean create yeah. the people who want to be a part of like the whole like consumerism like you know they get their jobs and then you know the government gives them things to use that money to buy and it mm -hmm. creates the whole capitalism you know what i'm saying yeah yeah so it's like that's what the point of that is you know what i mean so like for it's also for the people who don't know what the fuck they want to they want to do to push them there so they settle on something you know what i mean like because they they make it so it's like oh you got to go to college and then from there they maybe end up like switching majors a couple times and then they got to yeah. settle for a major and then there's something they don't even yeah. fuck with after and then they yeah. they got to get a job that correlates with that yeah. degree and then it's like fuck i mean up. often they don't even get jobs that correlate with that degree, too yeah. yeah so because bro you know what's actually interesting so i went to the bank recently capital one right and i was talking to this dude that he was saying that like um like he's like a manager or some shit at the cap or capital one or whatever right and like it's like a financial type of area business what, yeah, yeah. what not right because yeah. you can like climb up that shit whatever right yeah, yeah but like yeah he was telling me that initially he wanted to be a lawyer and like a paralegal or whatever right but mm -hmm. he said that he didn't have like the funds enough to like keep going with school yeah shit. so he had to settle for like that you know what i mean he, he just had to get like i don't know if it was like a master's or some shit whatever mm -hmm. it's called and then um and yeah and then i was it was just interesting to me because i wanted to like kind of pick his brain a little bit see what it was like how like See how he feels that, like, you know what I mean? Like, he didn't end up maybe what he wanted to do. And then he was just saying, yeah, I mean, you know, yeah. it pays the bills and whatever. Yeah. And like, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, damn, bro. I mean. Yeah. I mean, it's a reality because. Yeah. Because, yeah, exactly. The system is. I'll explain it. It's mm -hmm. like, yeah, you go to school. You take out loans mm -hmm. to go to the school. Mm -hmm. So then after you're done with school, you get this degree. And you're bound to pay these loans now. Mm -hmm. So you're forced that. to work regardless because after that, after school, the clock starts ticking. Mm -hmm. Unless you already paid that shit full out of pocket and you're fortunate enough for that. But mm -hmm. I mean, most people take out loans. Like I take out loans. Like, mm -hmm. like the average person. Oh, yeah. So that's the system. You get, you have, Then you're forced to work. And then you're a slave to the bank because you have to pay them off. Mm -hmm. At the same time. You have to pay all these other bills that are coming at you. And it's like, it's difficult to even accrue any wealth in general because you have so many bills to pay and all these other things to worry about. And because interest rates are like high on on loans too. So even more money over time. You're yeah, gonna you're going to end up paying like. So it's like, it's so annoying. Like you're forced to work after that. It's like, and that's why that's the, I feel like that's the only benefit of not going to college. The only benefit of not going to college is no debt. Yeah, that you is know? a big because yeah, because then okay, you don't have debt. Good, you have no debt to your name. You can do what you want, but now you better start making money and find a way to make that money. And like, yeah, and I mean, you're you better be a maker. You have to be a producer, like an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. in order to make a significant amount of money to get to that. Or else you're gonna be working a job yeah. that more than likely won't be paying you much based off your credentials because you're not having a degree or anything like that. Or they consider you replaceable really quick. Because you lack in that department, like mm -hmm. somebody else does have that stuff. Yeah. You're replaceable, like, you know? Yeah. So, uh, like, they say, like, it's like, let's just take away your job just because you didn't do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. go to college and all this. Like, it's just merit. That's all it is. It's a piece of paper. And just because of that, you are valued more in society. And that's why they push it. Because it's like, if you get this, you'll have more value in, mm -hmm. in, your, in society. But unless... You are an entrepreneur that has enough clientele that could produce something and now you have people dependent on you. Exactly. And you have a successful business. Exactly. And then at that point, okay, you're providing a That's lot of shit. You're, you're providing jobs and all that. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. That's the real so, goal mm -hmm. for some people. Like me, yeah. for example. That's my goal in general, to become like, to make Your myself valuable. I want to be my own boss. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. To make myself valuable because then like, you know, because a lot of people even do want to become entrepreneurs, too, because they see that. But that, that lies the question. All right. What is the real definition of an entrepreneur? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like people will, will maybe say like it's like the one who like makes his the own talker. Yeah, OK, that. <laughs> but it's like the one who like makes his own money. Right. People will say that. But it's yeah. like I, I think it's past money. It's it's a person who like does it his own way but also solves a problem because that's where the real yeah. the real thing is because well that's how the the that's how you become the most successful yeah like the best entrepreneurs yeah. and most successful people successful, are the ones that are actually solving yeah, yeah solving real problems because you can be a 
entrepreneur and like a CEO of a company, you start your own company, but you're just like, what's it called? Mocking somebody else. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. You start making fidget spinners or some dumb shit. Like, yeah. Who gives a fuck about that? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's like, exactly. The people that are successful, like Elon Musk, he's there because yeah. what? He provided something that is was disruptive yeah. within like our like a uh, society and economy mm-hmm. like it disrupted ice cars what's yeah. it called uh, ice combustion and all that stuff mm-hmm. so now it's electric and all that yeah, shit. Yeah, so yeah. they're solving problems because why is he successful because yeah his yeah. main goal is for to make the world a better yeah, place pretty make much make the world be- like yeah. what's it called have a what's it called the source of energy what's it yeah, oh yeah just be like a better yeah have yeah. a renewable source of energy yeah, yeah, yeah. and all this and eco-friendly yeah be we, we, more eco-friendly, eco-friendly. You know, that's yeah, the yeah. goal mm-hmm. so i mean and that and that helps the human race yeah exactly and that's race. why he is followers. that's yeah, why he has followers exactly. and people look up to that's him that's where the real success is the yeah. real is when it's it's like the product or whatever it is helps and solves a problem in the person you mm-hmm. know what i mean that's where it really is because then you don't have to convince or you don't have to um yeah, exactly. Advertising. No, you're even. right. You know, you're, you don't have to convince people because yeah, your product will convince it. them. It's, yeah, yeah it's like, your it's, product will itself will be yeah. the convincing factor. You don't even need to do it. Yeah, and I get this from um, I heard this from a from a, from a pastor. He was saying that it's the same shit with like a dentist. You know the value of a dentist. If your fucking tooth is hurting, you don't give a fuck how much you gotta pay for that shit. Yeah, you just go and you trust him. You know what I'm saying? You know mm-hmm. that like you gotta get it because you need it. You know yeah, what I'm exactly. saying? So it's like it's the same shit. Like if you need, if like someone needs something there, then like, then they, you don't have to convince them. You you don't have to spend much on advertising because they know they got it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like that for me is where I it lies with me personally. That like, I right, what is it then that like is like a problem I want to solve? You know, because there's many like problems in general. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Where that be like, you know, social, psychological, physical yeah. problems. You know, like there's people who like. Like for example, like you know those gym entrepreneurs, like gurus mm-hmm. and shit, like, like me. Yeah, yeah, that's what. But yeah. that's but that's you're solving a problem there too because you're like, there's there's people maybe who who, who want to like find a way to, um, to bulk up and like cut and shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But if you know and you do your studies and like you solve a problem there, that's yeah. being an entrepreneur. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. But then that's where like people fuck up, I think, and think that like it's like oh money, money, money. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. Like how can I make something that that gets me the most yeah, money. Yeah, exactly. That's why it's like, it's a depends your motivation. And mm-hmm. if your motivation is money, you only get so far. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If your motivation is to like truly be better and better the earth and all that, like how Elon is, like you're going to keep going. You're not going to settle until it's your goal is there. Like he's already like, he'll be the richest guy in the world, right? Oh yeah. The, but it doesn't matter to him because at the end of the day, mm-hmm. he still does, is the problem isn't solved. So he's mm-hmm. going to keep going. Yeah. And yeah. he's only gonna make fucking more money. Yeah, yeah. You know it's a bit like you know what I've been thinking about. So, cause I work with kids with disabilities and stuff. Mm-hmm. So I was thinking like, how can I help these people? Like, how can I? Mm. I feel like that's kind of it's not neglected, but mm. like it's not talked about often. Like children with disabilities and all that stuff, and like yeah. their issues, and like the parents that that even have them, like have these kids and all that stuff. Like, how can we find a way to help? these children yeah. that are often neglected and stuff because like after you try like if your child has autism down syndrome something like that but you're in a low income mm. ho- house and all that shit like what are you supposed to do it's it's hard, it's hard. you know if you're like in poverty and, so and all that like yeah. you can't give them the full attention that they already require like they already require more attention than a normal co- child so i don't know like it's hard bro yeah it's yeah. heartbreaking to me because i know there are like parents that have kids that yeah. give up on them and shit and that like that is sad as fuck so sad just because they have problems that they were born with it's, it's so uncontrollable sad. so it's, uncontrollable it's fucked up bro and you know i i like it definitely did like this this uh topic definitely hits home with me because um you know i have a little brother and he has autism and whatnot mm-hmm. so it's like i mean i grew up with this you know what i'm saying this is what is has also made me who i am you know yeah. and i'm grateful for it like i wouldn't i would not i would not change mm-hmm. or take it like i would not change it for anything else like i would yeah. not substitute my brother for anyone else you mm-hmm. know what i mean but like it's definitely made me who i am today you know what i mean and yeah. i've seen all the struggles especially with like coming with immigrant parents and stuff and like seeing the struggle with that and like you know it's it's hard you know what i mean mm-hmm. especially seeing the fact that like 
I have, you know, other family as far as like cousins and aunts and like, yeah, we're like the only ones like that, that have a family member like that in our, yeah. so then like, you know, especially it's funny too, because I, it's, I'm the oldest, right. And it's just him. And then it's the same with like my other cousins, like it's a, it's an old one and then a small one, an old mm-hmm. one. So, and then, you know, I growing up seeing all of them and like being, them being able to talk with their like siblings and stuff, yeah. you know, I, as a kid, like I never really like was like damn but like but in the back of my mind i was i was yeah, like you it's know, subconscious yeah. it's subconscious like, i was like you know what I, I mean mean? it's because you don't have it so you're not you're not thinking about it yeah. like you know how it is so it's like why even try imagining something that i know it's not gonna happen you yeah, know? yeah but yeah. like but um but yeah not to go with that with what you're saying it's it's like i always like you know i would grow up and i would see you know we would go to restaurants sometimes or somewhere out and you know people people make faces and stuff you know what i mean yeah because it's hard to control them bro because, yeah of course what because like it's like their point of view of life and like their perspective on life is completely different from ours bro. yeah of course and like it's like it's hard because it's like also like maybe those people are ignorant and they don't they just don't know no exactly you know what i'm saying like and because that's the thing there's no look yeah, to autism exactly. there's no look to it yeah like you just see them, they look normal yeah, as hell. They're like no, they a normal shirt. everyday person yeah. or something like that. Yeah. So then you see them act the way they are, you're gonna be like, "What the hell is wrong with this person?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, like that's the first thing you assume. Yeah. When wow, like, who knows what that person is going through? Like the little girl, like I, I take care of the, like the two little kids that they have autism in the, in the class that I have. Mm-hmm. Bro, they're actually so adorable. Like I love them, hearing them giggle, laugh, and all that. Like it's so cute. Mm-hmm. And you would not expect that from them. And I know the the ver- the little girl is very like what's it called she misbehaves a lot and i mean i know it's out of her control yeah but she can do it you know mm-hmm. like she can be like they're still there they're smart yeah like they're conscious yeah the, the dude he can count a lot yeah, he can yeah. he can do the abcs he can color match he can do everything he can mm-hmm. speak he can repeat things like they're smart they understand yeah. things yeah like it's just they just need that extra care mm-hmm. and like push and like that's why it sucks that off like when it, i just think about like i'm working with these kids and mm-hmm. i see how they are and like i have hope because they're here yeah but you know yeah. they're there yeah what about the kids that aren't there yeah. that's the th- that's the shit that like i think about and like, that's like the best environment for them as well yeah like, to be in because they're around a lot of people who you know mm-hmm. are know that they're like yeah you know, exactly and like they have each other the people that you know you have other people like it's mm-hmm. not just you like taking care of all these kids you know yeah what I'm exactly so like yeah mm-hmm. but like that, that's the thing that breaks my heart is that the people that aren't yeah. there like, the, like thinking about the kids that are like in these <sighs> looks to call like impoverished homes and communities and all that they can't income. even afford to like can't even afford to do like put like take care of these children yeah. and all that so it's like their growth their potential as a person already is stunted because of them having autism but the faster you catch it, mm-hmm. the more like that potential grows. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like exponentially you get it early. But if you don't, yeah, that shit closes just as fast. Like it's literally like teaching a baby, and what happens to them? That's what I think. Like I like the girl misbehaves because she was treated like a baby for all of her life. Like anytime she did something wrong or all that, they would just give in to her. Which is not what you're supposed to do, obviously, because mm-hmm. it's not teaching discipline or anything. Yeah. So she's not disciplined. She can't speak. Her, she's she's kind of not that great, you know. Like she can't speak and all that stuff. The other one can, but like that makes me think. I'm like, okay, she's gonna grow up. Yeah. Like, where are the people that were neglected and grew up like and mm-hmm. have autism and stuff? Like, where are they? What do they do? Do they just die? Like, what happens to them? Dead ass. Like. And that's Damn, the that's the thing I'd be thinking about. I'm like, I want to know. I want to find a way. Maybe I can contribute or help these people or something like that, like that community or all that. Because I don't know. That shit means a lot to me. Like anything that revolves kids or anything like that just Bro, hits trust. home to me a lot yeah. because kids are the only innocents, like in human life. Yeah, because that shit's taken away yeah. once you get older. So the only innocence or it's, any it's like really pure joy and, or pure like happiness and shit yeah. that we have, like that's in kids. So. And to them, I don't know, and and that to them is a whole different thing too because they have a different view of the world. It's yeah. not like how us, like when we're kids, though, that like you know we have a different sense of consciousness and like yeah. we just view the world differently. And then you know a lot of people though that are like like us, and then you know maybe some of them get trauma and shit too. No, that's the thing I hate. Yeah, yeah. That's what you're about. And, and then trauma. it's like, but then like even them though, it's like 
a whole different thing with like trauma they go through because like yeah you know because it's even like like i, I was um like i was watching uh this kurt cobain documentary right last night and and he was talking about how when he was like a teenager there was like this girl who like had autism i think he said mm -hmm. and she was like you know around their age and she would like let these kids in her house and and like apparently like one time he said that like he he really just wanted to have sex and like he said that like he was good like like he uh like he was planning to have sex with her right and then like she 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 said that she knew what was going on because she said her cousins would do it to her what the fuck? and like it was just and that, did that put him off did it he, stop him yeah i mean he didn't do it he didn't do it but yeah like, like i feel like that would be like our, yeah he, like he, being a if you're a conscious person yeah, not, yeah, yeah. and like if you hear that some like if somebody autism, yeah. i'm like wow yeah nah, he like you feel like shit already yeah. like he's already thinking about doing it trying yeah. to justify his uh -huh. wrongdoings yeah and then that, having that is just like wow yeah. like i really will be a piece of shit if i do this shit bro yeah no nah, he, he didn't end that's up, insane yeah. bro he didn't end up that makes it. me i don't even think about that and that makes me so sad bro yeah because the little girl is so adorable curly hair light skin she's gonna be so like like just a beautiful little girl bro <sighs> and i don't know that is sad just and think yeah, about, you can easily take advantage of anybody. And think about all the people. undocumented shit. Like, no, shit yeah. that's not even, like... That's what I'm saying. You know what like, I mean? Like, undocu damn, bro. Yeah. It's a whole other world. It's so... Bro, it's a it's fucked so up sad. world, bro. And it's, like... Fuck, bro. Damn. And, and like, this, this shit does hit home for me, too. Because I think about this shit all the time, bro. Because it's, like, if my brother didn't get blessed with, like... To have my mother, who my mother is, bro. To be yeah. as caring as her, bro. Like, I just think, like, dude, like... Imagine he grew up in a family where they didn't give a fuck about him, yeah. bro. Or like three years they give a like they try, yeah, and, and yeah. But then like he's why he's three years old. Why is he still yeah. acting like this? What the fuck? Mm -hmm. And then like they treat him like trash and all that yeah. shit. And because some some stuff doesn't even goes undiagnosed. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. sometimes they just think that the kid is just like that. It's like slow because it's like a, yeah because there's no look to it. Yeah. So it's like developmental and mm -hmm. like they're just like what the hell? You're slow, like he's just yeah. Dumbass or some shit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And like and instead of putting the fingers on themselves and stuff they just point yeah. at the kid like oh the kid's broken or something like that mm -hmm. like come on dog bro and then and then like <sighs> fuck shoot dude and then like that's why i literally I, I thank god bro the fact that like he he blessed he blessed our family with mm -hmm. him you know mm -hmm. what i mean he blessed my my mom yeah. because he knows how caring my mom is and knows how loving and like how big of a heart my mother has bro mm -hmm. so that's why like i always like think about yeah. that and like thank because like if anyone else like think about like i just think like if if there if he grew up in a family where they didn't give a fuck and they just gave up and they'd like beat him or some shit i just think like damn something like yeah that's fucked bro. no yeah because yeah they really do grow connections like oc like they're really attached yeah. they get really attached and that's what's cool because it's like they you grow that attachment with them and you get happy like yeah just seeing them do anything that like any Small form of things, progression bro. or Small anything things, yeah bro. and it just like makes you feel so like happy bro. ear to ear that's yeah, why bro. it's made me who i am bro because like that's why i love like little shit like i love seeing like like you like i love seeing like i look like i get uh fulfillment from little things you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying i get fulfillment from like anything like that's like a little bit of growth you know what i'm saying yeah. because of this that i grew up with was seeing that little growth in him you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. year by year like seeing those little things and you know obviously there's like yeah there's, it just goes to show us like they're there and that they're they're not like yeah it's not like doomed you know what i'm saying yeah. like it's not like they're just gonna stay like that forever bro like yeah. they can't grow like it's there bro mm -hmm. like it literally is there they're human too there's there's not a problem like there's some there's some that with like have mild and they really are articulate they're really yeah. sp very very smart can and type they're, fine, and they're even huh? like proficient at one at like a thing yeah they're really like yeah. some people are like yeah, like, I remember watching this dude who was autistic, and he was, like, a OC artist. For real? Yeah, like, he was, like, OD. Yeah, because, I mean, they're, they, they have insane focus. Yeah. They have insane no cap. focus, yeah. bro. I don't know what they focus on, or what, like, I, I be thinking all that. Sometimes he's just looking at, like, my man, he's just looking at me. Yeah. I love that kid. He loves me yeah. to heart, like, to death. And I, I, he, I get off the bus, like, he gets, he comes from the bus, to school and he's like happy ah! like <laughs> just to see me bro like that shit makes me happy yeah so like yeah dog what were we talking about like just now uh what was i gonna relate to that oh like just seeing him grow in general like he'll oh, be yeah. looking at me dead in the face and yeah. i don't know what he's focusing like i don't know what he's looking at because he'll he stare thinking? at me because he'll stare yeah, yeah I, i'll be thinking what he's looking like what are you <laughs> 
why are you staring at me yeah. so long? What are you thinking about? Yeah. And then he's like, oh, and then he just starts doing whatever. Yeah. Like, it's like he didn't even give a fuck. So Bro, they I have exactly. insane focus. I've exactly. I, I seen him work on puzzles and try to put the same piece that won't fit in the same thing for so long. Yeah. So I'm like, they have so much persistence and Bro, everything. It's, it's, like, I yeah. always, I always kind of wish I could just see how the world is like from their point of view. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, what, like yeah, man. I always, and sometimes it though, seems fun. Yeah. Because you know what, bro? It's weird because, like, you know, obviously, like me growing up my whole life with it, I almost connect, like, like I feel him, like I feel like yeah. I know what he's like thinking, like I feel no, like no, you, yeah, they're very, you do know what they're thinking, like, bro. They're very like yeah. vocal in the way they like, like it's om- act yeah. and stuff. Like when they eat, they make noises, like, mm, yeah, like it's good as hell. It's like, like they, they have like no he dances, filter. bro. Yeah, like they, no, no filter, filter. Yeah. exactly. So it's like I almost like it's like I feel him, be- and then yeah. I, it almost like rubs off on me. Like that's why I do kind of like. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I don't know. Like, mm-hmm. I, I, like, I would kind of do shit that he does. Like, like for example, uh, something he does, like, I know when he gets, like, really excited, he, like, yeah. does, like, this, this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or yeah. he, like, gets, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Like, he does, like, little shit that, like, mm-hmm. yeah, I don't know, bro. Yeah, yeah, exactly. My little man's, uh, like, he, yeah, exactly. Like, he has a bad habit of pulling hair. Yeah. <laughs> and I know he's going to do it always because he, he looks at you and smiles. Because <laughs> he, he looks at her. He, he looks it. at her and her hair. Yeah. And then looks at me. <laughs> And then goes and goes and pulls it, and I'm like, I feel you. I know you're gonna do it. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're doing, bro. And then yeah, when he eats, he like dances. He literally dances like because yeah. that's what he like. And he does noise like he's chilling. Yeah, takes the bite. Oh, mm. <laughs> like he loves that jump, bro. It's just like so. It just makes me feel good because yeah, he's like happy. Like you can feel mm. the happiness from that kid, bro. Yeah, you can feel his joy when he's just jumping up and down. I literally just jump with him. He's like, ha ah, ah. ha. So happy. I'm like, ah. I love that, bro. Yeah, dog. That's so tough. Exactly. Like, that is... That's what's cool about humans. Like, innocence... That I feel like that's what changes your life. Your innocence. What's that taken away, man? Yeah. Yeah. Kids are cute unless they're not innocent. You know? If it's a kid that's not innocent and he just starts doing dumb shit, like, talking about bad shit and all that, I'm like, well, I mean... Yeah. That's true. You're not the same. Like, there's something cute in ignorance and shit like that. I don't know. Do you believe in that? Ignorance is bliss? Yeah. Of course. Mm-hmm. People that are ignorant, I feel like, just live happy. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, like, they're not thinking about shit that doesn't make them happy. So they're only thinking mm-hmm. about the things that do. And they don't question it or anything like that, you know? Sometimes yeah. I wish I would go back. Like, I was, I feel like I was a very ignorant person in, in high school. Mm-hmm. I wasn't really conscious thinking mm-hmm. about many things. Like, I was just going by my days. Like, I was pretty happy and something, like, you know? Mm-hmm. And I feel, I, I wish I could go back to that sometimes. Like, I was just chilling. Yeah. I wasn't a conscious person mm-hmm. being dumb. Ignorance was bliss. Yeah. Like, now I'm more woke, more aware of, like, problems within society. Yeah. Like, I be thinking about problems in society. You know, yeah. Like, before, I didn't give a fuck. I was, like, it was just what was going on in my high school, and that's it. Because it didn't affect you, like, yeah. at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But now it's, like, now I'm more compassionate and empathetic towards people. Mm-hmm. And all that, so, I'm just thinking about things about life and yeah. all that. Like, I don't know. That shit could be more depressing. It could be happier, too, because there's happier things that go on. But I don't mm-hmm. know. I'm just, like, I just think about things more. Yeah, you know, so I just think, yeah, ignorance is bliss, and those people are happy. Yeah, I don't know. I think my thing with that is that like ignorance is bliss because like I just think back to being a kid, like not knowing shit, yeah. like you were happy as shit, but like, but like now though, like we kind of just can't really be ignorant. Yeah, you, you can't. You can't. You can't not think about that yeah, stuff. You have to. You in cannot be life. ignorant, bro, because like even in your personal life, like, like if you're if if. If you're going through something like with um with whatever it is like it, you need to have different points of views yeah. to know how to solve that problem you know what i'm saying like because you're gonna get problems in your life now like now shit like and because now it's on us yeah you know what i'm saying back in the day like it was it's like, like oh, uh, we had our parents yeah. they would you know what i'm saying like it, our biggest problem was like like you know like what the fuck like uh showering showering and like sleeping in the shower yeah like and like on my knee at recess or yeah that girl picking on me or something yeah like, and I need just figuring out how to get them. liked pretty much yeah that was big that was our biggest problem at least for me like I was, yeah i feel what you're talking like, I, I was like that too yeah. how can i get liked yeah that was the biggest problem for me mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. and um but now it's like bro it's bigger than that now first of all for me i realized it does not matter who the fuck likes you, bro. Yeah, exactly. It does not matter. Now it, it like you will fail trying to like trying to get everyone to like you. So now I know that and now it's like, all right, now my point of view is different now. It's like, what can I do 
like or just be me so that the people who like me actually do you know what i'm saying like i don't know i just think that like it's better to just know even though it may hurt like the truth hurts like yeah the truth hurts bro point mm-hmm. blank but it's like you gotta know yeah, ignorance is bliss because the truth hurts yeah. <laughs> yeah literally that's what like that's how it is bro yeah like what but you grow though you grow mm-hmm. from that. That's why it's I like, mean, there's like, there's pros and cons to both. Yeah. Because then you can live an ignorant life and you're actually, maybe you're practicing very negative values and shit. Mm-hmm. And you're like, wow. Yeah. And these people, and you're frowned upon in society, yeah, yeah, although yeah. you're happy. Yeah. I mean, I guess that matters at the end of the day. But I mean, like, if you're doing immoral, unjust things, like, come on, bro. You but know what I'm saying? It should be bigger than us, though, at the end of the day. I feel like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it, that is true. That is true. You know what I mean? And like, also, it's like, it's only you for how long? Because exactly. like, do you want to have a family or anything like yeah. that? Like, you know what I'm saying? And like the people around you, like can't be lonely. Like people die from loneliness. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So like, then it, yeah. So bro, the truth hurts, but it's like there's no pain, no progression, bro. Like no cap. That that yeah. No pain, no progression, bro. And that's with anything with fucking like with getting hurt by people. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like you need to know that. So then like you know like who not to fuck with you know what i'm saying like who you should keep out your circle and that's where like i begin there to realize when my life too it's like you know especially like because you are who you are around so it's like you figuring that shit out like you know maybe getting like um like hurt by people that's a sad realization yeah like like you are who you're around and like and like you are like you become who you're around people take that shit lightly and then when you realize like who you're around yeah that shit's sad like you're like damn Bro, I am doing these dumb things, and people I, like, take that shit lightly, bro. Yeah, but I, honestly, though, I sympathize though, and like even for me though, I'm not saying like I got my shit figured out. Like I know, like you no, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, I'm I'm the type of person where I know who I'm hanging out with in my environment. I know it it, it, it affects me, so that's why I try my hardest to limit myself in that environment. Like I only can be there for a certain amount of time, right. and all that stuff. It's like I don't know. I just have limits to it now, mm. you know because yeah i know that eventually if i continue if i'm always with the same thing constantly constantly consuming the same thing i will become it so yeah mm. yeah i learned to just limit myself because i'm not gonna cut like i honestly don't think i'm my friends some of my friends might have negative qualities stuff like that but i'm not about to cut them off because of it because yeah, nobody's yeah, yeah. perfect bro and like that's the thing yeah like that's, what? that's why it's hard because you obviously know that i mean you yourself i know i have flaws everyone has flaws yeah but then it's like like all right, how much of it is just flaws and like you rationalizing, and how much of it is just that like, um, like you just want to keep them around for company? Yeah, you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. that's how I am, kind of like I just like company. Yeah, you know, I mean it's understandable. And, and I'm, I'm I'm I've grown to be like if I don't want to be at a place, I'll leave. Mm. That's how I am now. Like I don't right. care. I'm not gonna. F- I used to force myself. Like I'll be with friends all day, even if I didn't want to be there anymore mm. or anything like that. I'll still be hanging out with them because they're like, "Oh, bro, you're trying to leave or anything." Yeah. Or like, or they're trying to do something that I'm not trying to do. Yeah. I wouldn't go tag along just because they're my friends, and I'd like, like I used to do that all the time. Just mm. go tag along and all, just because yeah, I want to be with my friends. But like, it would come to a point where it's like, you want to do this, or I'm like, nah, mm-hmm. can't fade. Yeah. Nah, I would leave just that because like, then the day why you know. Yeah, you know, like if I'm not gonna be happy there and it's gonna be like draining my energy, mm-hmm. what's the point? Yeah. So I don't know that that's a that was a realization I had to go through, you know, because mm-hmm. I used to like be with friends all the time, no matter what, like waste time with them yeah. doing dumb shit. Just because you and I would realize, friends. yeah, and I would mm-hmm. realize I'm like, bro, I'd rather not, I'd rather not even be here right now, but yeah. I would still do it I'm, because you're around know. your friends and you're yeah, exactly. Because I think that that's the I think that there's nothing better. Like yeah. that's my friends, bro. Where else can I be? Mm-hmm. Like I'm and already gonna like have fun. The goal, like yeah, the salvation, pretty much, mm-hmm. kind of yeah. Or it's like, bro, but you can know, you can understand that sometimes you want not you're not gonna have friends fun with your friends. I guess like yeah. it's okay. But that's Every how you situation know. situation is going to be great. I think that's how you know who your true friends are. When you can be around them and not do, like, maybe not, not like, not just sit around, but, like, or maybe, yeah, like, maybe if you just want to chill or something or, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And you feel okay with that. Like, you're maybe you're doing your own thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. if I'm around my, my homie and, like, I'm I'm doing me, I'm reading or some shit, and he's doing him, like, on his computer or whatever, like, yeah, that's when I know, like, all right, like, we can chill. Like, for me, because me personally, bro, like, I really am comfortable with silence. I feel like mm-hmm. now I've gone more comfortable with like just being silent sometimes, mm-hmm. you know, because I feel like have you ever been around people and like just always kind of have to be like something being oh, yeah, said, definitely. you know, def- that noise, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. That conversation. I always feel like it has to happen. And I'm it's kind of like that. 
Really? Like, yeah, I'm kind of like that. Like, I don't know. I'd rather be talking. Like, if I'm going to be in a room with somebody, I'd rather... Like, and, and like, it depends the type of silence, you know? Like, if we're both just on our phone, but if it's for a while, bro, you know, we're not interacting at all, I'm like, come on. So, like, eventually, I'm going to have to break the ice. I can't just fade. Yeah, I know, mean. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. You know, I don't know. It depends the scenario. And the person feeling, as well. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to... I'm gonna break the ice type shit. Cause, I know what you mean. Cause I mean I like silence. Yeah, I know what you mean. But like, why is it silent? You know, why? True. Like, is it silent because we're both like distracted on our phones or yeah. some dumb shit? Or That's like true. what? Like you know. I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, but I I, I can't cover with I became comfortable with silence mm-hmm. as well. Yeah. Cause mm-hmm. yeah, sometimes just the presence is enough. Yeah. And nothing got to be said. Sometimes there's nothing to be said. Yeah. So why say it? Yeah. yeah. But know? I just hate when like I'm around people that like. Yeah. I, I mean, I hate small talk. So yeah, yeah. I'd rather have. I'd rather it be quiet than like trying to force something. Yeah. Like, something exactly. Like, that's so what I, I. That's what I hate, bro. That yeah. small talk shit. And I mean, I the thing is though, I say I hate it, but like sometimes I'm, I'm the one that evokes it just because like. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I just. Yeah, feel like there's nothing else better to do. Like you know what I'm saying. Like, cause but like now I'm I'm growing growing closer more to just being silent, bro. Because like for real, yeah. Because honestly, bro, I'm starting to really not give a fuck. I mean, I'm like more speak to when spoken to, mm-hmm. but it also depends on scenario. Like yeah. if it's like a group shit, like our right, our bro. Let me give you an example. For mm-hmm. fucking school, dog. School remote. <laughs> we're remote. Breakout rooms. Oh, dog. That shit was annoying as fuck because yeah. there would be times where we would have. Five people in the breakout room. Mm. We'd be in there for fifteen minutes. We're having an assignment. Nobody said a word, and I'd be like, "Are you serious?" Or nobody saying anything. Like we all join it, and like we had to receive the directions. Mm-hmm. It would be three minutes of silence, and I'm like, "Are nobody gonna? They, are you guys gonna do this that's shit?" A, like the point is to anything? talk though, right? No, yeah, 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 that's the point. Yeah. So then I would, I always had to be the fucking one to say something, <laughs> dog, because nobody would. I, I would I would wait because everybody wants to wait it out to see if somebody would say something, yeah. and nobody wants to be the one to do it. So Bro. I mean I, I would but literally it would get to the point where it'd be two three minutes long in there of pure silence. So I would literally be like, "Are you guys really this pussy?" And so and I would start talking, Bro. and I'm like, "Yeah." I I even had it sometimes where there was like, "There's I'm not the only person like that." Sometimes mm-hmm. we had more than one person like that in mm-hmm. that breakout room, and I remember one time there was like seven or eight of us, and the dude there was a me, which is a person that takes the break like breaks the ice, and the other guy, and the other even and the other guy does too. And he was like, dang, y'all really silent today. He even said that shit out loud. I was like, good shit, bro. Because, yeah, yeah it's true. So annoying. Like, bro, we have a prompt, four questions. Yeah. There's seven of us that we're supposed to be discussing. And, and only even... two people are talking. Come on, bro. What are you guys doing? And you're not even, like, in person. Yeah. Like, I get, like, that's like, a You guys are laying more... in bed. Yeah. But, like, is it hard to talk when y'all laying in yeah. bed? Damn. I get, I get why there could be fear in person, right? But, like, even through the computer, like, it's like, first, you're not even around that person, like. Yeah, I can't even see you. Yeah. So like, say what you need to say. Yeah. Like, bro, I would be, I would be at work sometimes. Like, I had to catch lecture at work, bro. Mm-hmm. So, like, occasionally. Damn. And I would turn my camera on and be literally be like, "Yo, I'm at work right now. So if y'all hear anything <laughs> or say some dumb shit, like, I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not bad." Like, I would literally say that because, yeah. I mean, it's better just to have it said and all that instead yeah. of having people assume, mm-hmm. like, "Well, oh, they're just looking at me and like, oh, what the fuck's going on or why mm-hmm. is he doing it?" I'm like, "Bro, I'm gonna just tell you." Yeah. I don't know. I think it's our generation is just so pussy, bro. Yeah. Like we're like seeing how pussy we were in those breakout rooms pissed me off. Bro. I'm like we really don't know how to interact. Bro. If it was typing, maybe people would talk. But yeah. there was no typing. It was had to be voice. Until somebody said something, nobody would say shit. Are you dead ass serious, bro? Bro. Can't believe it. And then that that brings back <laughs> Then that brings back to what I was telling you earlier, bro. Like how do you think that will that will um That'll like affect them in the real world. Yeah. Like, bro, you have to interact with people in the real world, bro. Yeah. It does not fucking matter. Like in anything you do, you mm-hmm. have to interact with people, bro. Yeah. So like you gotta fucking get out that comfort. Like, I know it's uncomfortable. Like, even for yeah, me. But I mean, do we though? Cause what if we go towards a, oh, a life yeah. where we're more remote and it's all okay and we all yeah. are just away from each That's other? True. We don't have to see each other. Nah, fuck that though. I don't give a nah, fuck. Yeah, you still have yeah, to, yeah fuck nah. that, bro. You nah. have to have people sk- like that is important. Like yeah, you no, if it, at the, like not the people skills have to be there because yeah. you can't replace people. Yeah. And like you bro, can't replace people make up everything. Yeah, Literally. exactly. You can't replace you people. Cannot, so like you're gonna be really lacking if you yeah. don't. Like that's one thing. That's a that'd be a confidence booster. Try not to talk to people try and talking to people and all that. Like it just boosts your confidence in general. What do you mean? Because like, if you know how to speak to people, you're, you'll be confident in speaking to people. You wouldn't be surprised yeah. when it comes to anybody saying something to you yeah. or something like this. Like, 
But if you don't speak to people off, you're not a confident speaker, like you're not going to have confidence within in general, you know, like somebody's going to ask you something, you're going to be like not confident in your answer or something like that. Like mm-hmm. I'm going to talk about my girl, Maggie, like, bro, Maggie is confident as shit mm-hmm. in what she says. She could be dead ass wrong, but like, like I'm talking about like in school and something like they ask her, like ask a question or something right. like that. She'll say what's on her mind and she'll like answer it and she could be dead ass wrong. Yeah. But she doesn't but, like, think she's, about, yeah, oh, but she's confident, bro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, but that's also because like she's engaged and she'll take it in and then learn like, mm. I don't know. And she's confident with, and it shows her confidence within herself. Yeah. Other than people that are like, don't know the answer or maybe have the same answer and they don't say it and bro. all that. I don't know. They're just always, hiding bro. and they're just judging her and all that dumb shit. Like, bro. Always in school, bro. I, I, I would literally, I didn't, I didn't give a fuck, bro. I would, I would raise my hand and yeah. I would sound stupid. I don't give a fuck because I knew at least, at least like maybe if, okay, bro. Cause I, the way I looked at it, it was like, it's a win-win situation. Yeah. Literally. Because I, like, know how you're, I already know where yeah, you're going with it. Cause either way, if I'm right, I was like, okay, I was right. Or if yeah. I'm wrong, like I try to make it so like, I like, so it's like a, it's a joke. Yeah. Somebody will geek. Yeah, so exactly. Someone would geek at least. Exactly. So like, bro. bro, like, I mean, I look at it as like, it's a win-win situation. Like yeah. I could sound stupid. Someone could be like, oh, yo, this dumbass. Like, yeah, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, exactly. I don't give a fuck, but like, but make somebody laugh it would be yeah. better. And I love making people laugh. Exactly, bro. Like, that's so the like, point. I mean, that was low key more of my goal for real. I didn't yeah. even care if I was right or wrong. Like, no, yeah, I'd rather I would never have. I'd rather be the the funny guy in the class yeah. than the smart ass in the class. What yeah. the fuck? I don't give a shit. Bro, no one fucks with the smart ass. Anytime it came to anything that we did in school, like presentation wise yeah. or like stories yeah. or anything like i always had to make some comedic yeah. shit like i was always like i always had to add some funny something <laughs> yeah. funny to it yeah i don't know like it's just how I, like it's just how i appeal to people the best yeah no that's dope bro because i'm the same i yeah. was the same always and like yeah yeah i don't know i i, I kind of I, I look back and it's kind of tough like how like mm-hmm. that that's how i like i'm glad that's how i was yeah like, me too you know that that's what like i think back and that's the reason why i feel like i was like like likable i guess or why i feel like i'm pretty likable just because of that just because like i never thought like i really gave a fuck you know what mm-hmm. i'm saying like because i knew at the end mm-hmm. of, i mean bro if you breathe you will be judged yeah i mean no matter look, what i always said i didn't give a fuck and all that. i did give a fuck mm-hmm. like i did because i mean if you're gonna keep getting negative shit there's no but way i'm not gonna do, like there's no way i wasn't gonna give a fuck yeah I'm just saying, like, as a person, if you're going to give a fuck, yeah, like, nah, at yeah. some some extent, like, yeah. I know what you mean. I don't give a fuck, but I do give a fuck. I yeah. don't know how to explain nah, it. Nah. It's, it's kind of like, right. it's yeah. kind of like a thing where it's like, I'll, take the, risk, do, I'll take the risk in trying to make this person laugh. Yeah. I don't give a fuck if they do or don't, mm-hmm. but I do care if, let's say, it takes the wrong turn and then, then now they, like, are seeing me negatively and are yeah. put in a bad position and it backfires yeah. on me or something like that. Yeah, that's when I would be like, okay, damn, but I wouldn't. That wouldn't stop me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That wouldn't stop me. Yeah, 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 no, I know you're you're right with that. Like, and I feel the same. Like, I, you know, I say too, I don't give a fuck, but I I don't give a f- like, I do, but it's like, first of all, it's minuscule, and also it's like, like, what can you do? Mm-hmm. Like, it's like I said, like if you breathe, you will be judged, bro. No matter what, you will be judged. At the end of the day, everyone like you could be the best person, bro. Like. Like what you don't think fucking Elon Musk gets no, judged? No, LeBron, bro. bro LeBron, bro. Judge, Messi, Ronaldo, every, all these every, people. Yeah, exactly. And they're goats. Yeah, exactly. But they get Tiger judged. Woods, all these people are goats, yeah. bro. And they could be the fucking best person, but they will get judged, bro, no matter what. So it's like at the end of the day, it's like, bro, like, shit, if I'm gonna get judged anyways, I might as well be me and not give yeah. a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Or mm-hmm. like you know what I mean? I, don't know, I, I think that just takes a lot to get to that point though. Oh no, yeah, like, for sure. To develop the mentality and all that shit. For sure. Because like you have to have real good confidence within yourself already balls. you know what i'm saying and balls yeah, yeah balls. like you got to be straight with yourself because some people are like conflicted and all that dumb shit yeah like, if they're social not social awkwardness yeah exactly anxiety yeah exactly yeah but some of them even that could be the driving force like it's mm-hmm. like because like i'm socially anxious and like have anxiety that that that's what drives them you know what i'm saying i think it's how you look at it i don't know yeah i mean i guess so I mean, I'm just saying, like, because some people, you know, I mean, they use that. Like, for example, like some comedians, you see why they like a lot of them go through like hella trauma and shit. You know what I mean? Comedians and like. Oh, yeah. 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 So it's like they use that as a driving force. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I just think comedy is a rare type of art, though. Yeah. Because you really because every bad story can be funny. Like, you know, what I'm saying like every bad story 
is like what wants is going to be told by like that's what how that tra- that's how trauma and shit is treated within comedians like they end up just telling the story of mm-hmm. their trauma and how mm-hmm. it goes down and all that yeah and then yeah they just make it funny you know what i'm mm-hmm. saying so I mean, you can't always do that. You can't just laugh at your trauma like other people. Yeah. Like uh, some other things. Like if you're raped and you're not a comedian and all that shit, it's yeah. probably hard to get through that <laughs> trauma and be like abused so at home fuck. and all that shit. But like, yeah. it, but it's easier to cope with things once. Because like, I mean, saying it and speaking things mm-hmm. already is a way, a mechanism of relieving yourself from trauma yeah. and speaking about it. Not like getting it out Not there. suppressing and it. Yeah, exactly. Expressing so, it. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And then get going up on a stage and probably saying this to people and then getting a, a funny comedic laugh. Like, that's probably a per- pretty therapeutic. You oh, know bro. Well, that must be like, yeah. that must literally be like the same feeling as like scoring a goal, like in your pro or some shit. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, it's like that, bro. Like, that's why they do it. You know what I'm saying? So, like, damn. I don't know, bro. That's yeah. So I don't know. I think it's just kind of rare when it comes to yeah. Like comedy is really great when it comes to that. Like yeah, really no filter and all that yeah. shit. That's that's why I, I don't know. I want to do an open mic, bro. Yeah, I want to do an That'd open mic. Dope. I don't know. I've already thought of like jokes that I can talk about. Mm-hmm. Like I come, I'm, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna just talk about some dumbass experience yeah. I have and make it funny. But yeah. I also want to make it where where I learned a lesson mm-hmm. and like I There's grew a moral. and I grew from there. Yeah. So I mean, I already have a couple of things like writ- like ideas, mm-hmm. not like jokes written out, but mm-hmm. like just ideas of it. So yeah. yeah. I don't know. I plan on I would, I'd do an open mic just because. That's I mean, I used to go in front of the class and be like do dumb shit all the time. Yeah. Like, bro, like in the you know I don't know if you remember. In elementary school or middle yeah in elementary school mostly like we would have we would do plays like in there would be we would always have a poetry unit I think within so. school so we always had a poetry unit bruh yeah and i, I would love that. and we would all have the poetry oh, books yeah. in and act them out in class You're right i would do and that. that poetry unit was my favorite no cap. fucking unit no cap. just because i no was cap. like I can act and I can yeah. just be a dumbass no and I'm cap. okay no to do cap. it as long as I say the words. So I would always want parts and I would always want to like, they have the long shit and all that just no so I can cap. be like annoying and just to, just to have an opportunity to make people laugh. Yeah, bro. no cap. So I love the poetry unit just because I could do that no shit, cap. bro. I know what you mean. Yeah. yeah. So like, go, like going up and making people laugh, like performing wise, kind of, mm-hmm. I it wasn't, it was now, it's like, it was kind of easy for me at at least it came to that but then Mm -hmm. when i came to like music and stuff and like contemporary arts and chorus and like singing in front of people and that that shit was harder for me yeah you feel like yeah Yeah. bro damn but but at least like poetry you know that that shit was fun that's funny that's so funny you mentioned that bro because like you remember those plays yeah and that's little red riding hood and that that. that was the same for me bro that's why i literally like as a kid like i literally i thought like i was gonna be an act like i wanted to be an actor Mm -hmm. like i wrote like my freshman year of high school they made you write a letter to your senior yourself. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember that. And, and yeah. I wrote and I wrote for real. I wrote down. I hope I, I said like Omar. I hope you're still pursuing and trying to be an actor and shit. No way. No cap, bro. I said that, and I, and it's so funny. Like that's look, cool how Northwest does that. Yeah. Where I feel so like maybe every school does that. Yeah, but like yeah, that was so tough seeing that because I was like, damn, bro. Like I yeah. I really wanted to be an actor so bad. I took theater that year too. I remember. Oh yeah, but then you realized theater kids were weird. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but I knew I was weird too, so I was like. But not that weird, yeah. not that type yeah. of weird. You're a different type of weird. Yeah, I guess. So. Yeah. I mean, nah, bro. Sorry, that's nah, bro. Up. I mean, nah. If my first fresh- kid, I'm sorry, but it's true. <laughs> that's why theater kids always stayed with each other, bro. Because yeah. they were weird, bro. Sorry, or but yeah. Okay. I mean, I I did fuck with them though, like, but like they were happy, cool people. Yeah. Was, yeah. But I also knew that, like, yeah, I I know I was weird too, but like I I also like I hide my weirdness with some people. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. like yeah. But I don't know, bro. I I still honestly find like. Um, like attraction in that and wanting to be an actor, like I fuck with that. Like no, yeah, I like, mean, I I'm I wouldn't be opposed, bro. If somebody oh, yeah. act asked me to do some yeah. acting for them, bro, yeah. I would do it. No cap, bro. I'm always if somebody asked me to be in a commercial, I yeah. would do it. I'll, I don't easily. give a fuck. Easily, bro. Easily. No acting classes. I w- I have been thinking about it more on a larger scale though. Yeah. Like trying to be like a movie star and maybe yeah. like a drama and all that. Yeah. I feel like I it, I don't know if I would be set for that. It would be too hard. Bro, I think I could like do me it, trying bro. to be like Bethany. No, you cannot. Yeah. Like, no, I can't. Like, <laughs> nah. I think, bro, I honestly think I could do it, bro. Like, no care. Yeah, like, bro, even without acting classes, and like the reason, without, all right, bro, I think oh, look, you need acting classes. Look, look, the reason why I say that is because, bro, there's this guy. His name is Aaron Paul. He he played um he played Jesse in Breaking Bad, which is which is like 
for me like greatest show of all time yeah but like people a lot of people talk about it bro but he did not take acting classes before he took that role what did he do before the? i don't know about that yeah but he definitely like i guess had experience maybe yeah he definitely didn't just go raw dog yeah. like you know what i'm gonna just go yeah. do it you know what i mean but like, i mean because like i'm because i mean for for example comedians a lot of them are in movies and do movies yeah. and they don't act like they don't have an experience yeah, yeah, they but, probably maybe did take acting classes maybe or something like that but for the most part i know like people that are given like they're even given movies you know like adam sandler and all that bullshit like mm-hmm. he was they're all comedians at first bro yeah like all of them him and his whole squad like i don't know if you know but then, like, yeah like but they're just gifted shit. they're just gifted though yeah yeah so it's like bro i mean if you have the gift i think you could do it bro you know what i'm saying like mm-hmm. i don't know i've never done it before i've never acted or anything like that bro i swear well, see, we, I, I swear, have bro oh bro, my we could, god bro we could do it bro i swear we could do oh it. oh my god you know what's crazy what when i was in the elementary school all right so back in my neighborhood mm-hmm. like down the street and in my neighborhood all the neighborhood kids and all this and there was like these older people that were my friends and stuff they were in like high school but or they were he was a freshman and I was, no, 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 I was in middle school at the time, maybe like sixth grade, but like pre-puberty, like I wasn't even a puberty, I didn't have puberty or anything like that. Mm-hmm. And I'm hanging out with all the neighborhood kids where the range was great. There was elementary, young ass elementary schoolers, mm-hmm. then us, and then the older high school kids that would fuck with everybody and all that shit. So <laughs> we were all, we were doing an English project for him and he used to do YouTube videos and all that. So he had, and he would, oh. his, his thing was a video Yeah. and he had to reenact this bullshit like. I don't know. I forgot, like, the premise of it was. Like, he had to, like, advertise something yeah. and sell it. And he was making a commercial for it. <laughs> so, who's the, one of the main people was me. that He put me in it. I was the girl in it. So, yeah, see, like, making me, geek, like, I was making him geek and all that. And, like, <laughs> I've acted in that shit. Like, I yeah. had to, like, drive by and be like, hi, boys. And yeah. all that dumb stuff. Like, so, hey, I, mean, I mean, I mean, lar- that's us minuscule hey, scale, obviously. Yeah. But, I mean, it's like, at least I've tried. Well, tried like, yeah. I was in a video you were trying. actually trying. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, it was funny. I was yeah. like dancing, doing dumb stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I was on a scooter. I want to see that shit, bro. bro. They deleted it. Oh, bro. Damn. One of the one of the friends had a fallout. It was mm-hmm. a whole squad, bro. They all grew up with each other. The oh, older and guys, like, tight. and we all and I knew them all. Yeah, and then one was of it, them was it like Hector and like all them. Yeah. Oh. How you know Hector? Bro, because I lived in that neighborhood. Don't you remember? Oh wait, yeah. I know them. Literally. Oh, it was. Wait, dumb. yes. Oh, Heck yeah. Yeah, bro, yeah, bro, Hector, it, it was Hector's video. Yeah, because, it was oh, Hector for English, bro. And because then, what, I remember Kitchen House. Yeah, bro, I used to watch that shit. I remember he did a, a like Lord of the Flies jump. Yeah, yeah. he, he did do that. that. No, I wasn't in the Lord of the Flies one. Uh, Eduardo was, but it was another one where it was a whistle. I don't it was think advertising I saw a whistle. He's like, "This is how you get all the girls and all that stuff," uh, and that's why they blew the whistle. And then, and then I was came. on the yeah, I was on the fucking scooter driving by. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> So Dude, yeah, I, I knew I was him, bro. Because yeah, I, I, because I used to, because I grew up with, like some people were in that shit. Like I, don't well, know I you forgot know. you lived in that yeah, neighborhood. Yeah, bro, but literally. I don't yeah. know if you knew this guy named Edgar. Yeah, Edgar. Edgar. Yeah, of course, yeah. and Carlitos. Yeah, bro, yeah, Carlitos. I, of course, bro. I know these people. Yeah, I know them bro, all. I grew up with them, bro. I yeah. know I'm hip, bro. And yeah, yeah, they're all in it. Yeah, they're all, all in it. Like. All those kids are in yeah, it, bro. Yeah, bro. So, yeah, exactly. Like, that shit was fun. Like, Damn. honestly, making that little stuff was fun. I look back on it. I yeah. wish it was still there. But one of them had a falling out. And then he, it was the, it happened to be the guy with the YouTube channel. Damn. And he deleted his channel. Yeah, bro. That sucks. Because I used to watch that all the time. I used to just go back and, like, that would be memories. Yeah, because, bro, that was a really good time in my life. Yeah. Where I was a little kid. England. And I would go outside every single day. Mm-hmm. And I was just going outside every single yep. day. Nothing and else then, mattered, but yeah. That. yeah. Wake up, go outside, play with my friends, get all sweaty, just do on dumbass adventures and mm-hmm. do that dumb shit like that, yeah. like be in the woods and all. That. Yeah, like that was so fun to me. And that was actually like I was on Reddit today, mm. and there was there was a que- like somebody asked a question, and that was a question. It was like, what is one thing you miss from your childhood or something like that? Mm-hmm. And I was like, that was exactly what I miss. I was like, less technology, more so like more face to face interaction mm-hmm. and. Playing in the neighborhood as like the neighborhood kids playing. Yeah. Because like you don't see that shit as much anymore, man. Back Damn. in the day, like the whole neighborhood was outside. All yeah. the kids were outside. We all knew each other yeah. and all that. Because we had we couldn't be in like being inside was boring. You couldn't do shit. Yeah. Like you're just watching TV, okay. Yeah. Yeah, maybe some had some game systems and all yeah. that, but it wasn't that extreme yet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody was outside. Yeah. And now it's just it's really not like that no more. Mm. Like that is honestly something that I know kids are gonna miss out on and that is gonna affect yeah, them so that's much. Sad bro. for real. Yeah. I used to like my whole neighborhood was my like it was like a whole world to me. Like it was an adventure yeah. the whole time. We used to go Bro, we're so you know blessed. those you know the you know the tunnel near your neighborhood? Yeah. yeah. 
in that in that creek, bro. Yeah. I lived there, dog. I yeah. was there all the time. You see my finger? You see that? Oh, I cut it in oh. that creek, bro. Swimming in that bitch, bro. Like I used to have so much. That joint was dangerous, of, low key. Yeah, I remember going. To, I was like, yeah, bro. Yeah, some bad people going there. Bro. Yeah, some bad people. Yeah, yeah, I remember one time, bro. We ran like because there was yeah, there yeah. was like some dude, like old yeah. dudes or whatever, and we were like, oh fuck, like, yo, let's get yeah. the fuck. Were you with me that day? What nah, probably not. Because yeah. I was there. I did the same thing. Oh really? Uh, yeah. yeah, nah, bro. I, that's literally, bro. Like prime. Like yeah, you know like that mean? that is the best. That, that yeah. was the best part of life, just being outside. Bro. That's when the ignorance was great. Yeah, it's like that was your worry. Like, what were you gonna yeah. do for the day? What was the fucking journey? What yeah, was the damn shit you could do. For the I day? feel like that's the only time where where ignorance can be passed. Yeah, I mean right. we're just kids. Yeah, we're just kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah man, that, that's great, bro. I miss that shit. Yeah. I miss that shit. Going outside, playing with friends. No cap, bro. Playing kickball in, in that neighborhood, yeah. bro. Kickball bro, we would play literally uh, anything, bro. Football, man soccer, hunt, man hunt, man bro. Hunt, bro. We would yeah, we used to play. And what great? What, what I loved about your neighborhood, that yeah. kitchen house neighborhood. That's what that's what the kitchen house court. Yeah. What I loved about that neighborhood was the diversity yeah. and how in the range, like it was literally little kids, yeah. fucking kindergartners, yeah, and guys out of high school, yeah. and we were all grouped and just hanging, <laughs> playing together, bro. It was just fun. Like, so, I, it really was, bro. And yeah. I, I, damn, I really miss that. Like, you'll never see that now. Wow. You'll never see that shit. Now. That's crazy, too. And the th- funny thing is, too, is that I, like, I remember I had an Xbox at that time, but I, like, I didn't give a fuck. I mean, I would play, but, like, bro, I, what I cared about most was, like, during the day when we would go out with yeah, the friends. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Damn, son. Throw I'm so glad. Me. I'm so, I'm so grateful. I like, lived through that. Yeah. I'm happy I did go no through No cap, bro. Because that's made us who we are today, too, yeah. bro. Yeah, that's why I love being outside so much. Yeah, like I really love nature. And yeah, and that shit. No like cap. I love. I could just be outside. Like that's Literally, why I, going bro. to Sugarloaf. I love going to yeah. Sugarloaf on that mountain and all that shit. I just love chilling on there and all that, bro. Like that's I just crazy, love being outside. Bro. I can't be inside all day yeah, every day. Fuck no, that's that's it drives me crazy. That's key to my depression, bro. Being yeah, locked like in. during the quarantine and all that. Oh my god. Oh bro. my god. Thank God that I was like able to just like I'm gonna go work out and just yeah. go outside work out, go on my walks, go to my house and all that dumb shit because I a, I bike, bike. I was biking. biking yeah, yeah, I was biking because it was fun, bro. Biking, I biked a lot as a child too. Really? I biked every. I bu- yeah. actually bike with my dad. Yeah, me too. Like on streets with my dad, highways, go miles and miles. <clears throat> shit was scary. Damn. Yeah, but Damn. we'll have that. We'll save that for another time, yeah. right? I think it was getting a little long. Yeah, yeah I think we, we got right. good. Yeah. Yeah. So but thank yeah. you. Thank you guys for if you, listening. If you, if you listened, watched anything, you know, if you just maybe you just just clicked. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe skip to the end. Just want to see us or some shit. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's all good, but uh, yeah. I mean, like thank relate to the stories. Hopefully. Yeah. Hope you guys got something out of whatever we talk about. If not, maybe just a smile. You know what I mean? That contributes to us. You know what I mean? So yeah, just thank you guys. If you if Tune you if you enjoyed, break. like, you know what I mean? Comment, Comment subscribe. subscribe. Fuck and with yeah. us. Talk Love y'all. Love thank y'all. you. Welcome back to the break zone. Next till next time. Love you.